What's up YouTube, this is Mathwiz97, and welcome back to my WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. We are here for episode number 24 of the series, or, in the long-term picture, episode number 302. We're here with, with another edition, the go-home show of Monday Night Raw, heading into the Night of Champions pay-per-view. As you can see, we're going to be seeing Dean Ambrose go one-on-one -on -one with Edge to kick this one off. As well as that, we saw Paige pick up a singles victory, Sami Zayn getting a win, and the Party Animals actually scored a handicap victory over Booker T, so good for them. We're also going to be seeing Seth Rollins one-on-one -on -one with Rusev, and in the main event, well, doesn't that bring back old memories? The World Heavyweight Champion Ryback, one-on-one -on -one with the Viper, Randy Orton. We are here in Chicago, Illinois tonight, and we've got a huge match card set for this Chicago crowd. The crowd's always rowdy here in Chicago. We're looking to give them a fantastic show tonight. As we have got three huge matches set for Night of Champions, all six of Raw superstars competing in those high profile matches get an opportunity to compete tonight. We're kicking this one off. Dean Ambrose, one on one, with the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, Edge. Edge, of course, going to be facing Ryback at Night of Champions. Dean Ambrose, he's set for a steel cage match against Seth Rollins at Night of Champions. And as well as that, we have a number one contendership match for the World Heavyweight Championship for Battleground. It's going to be Randy Orton, one-on-one -on -one with the Bulgarian brute, Rusev. Three huge matches for Monday Night Raw for Night of Champions. And all six of these men looking for the opportunity to build some last-minute momentum heading into that event. Dean Ambrose, last episode, or not last episode, last episode of main event, Dean Ambrose was able to qualify for the King of the Ring tournament by defeating the Director of Operations, Kane. So Dean Ambrose, he's able to get Kane out of the way, out of his mind now. He's got good momentum building into the pay-per-view, but a loss here could throw that all away. Dean Ambrose, I don't think any of these six men tonight can afford the loss, but Unfortunately for them, only three men can win those three matches. So somebody's got to lose. And that could be detrimental for any of those six competitors. But unfortunately, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. As Dean Ambrose right out of the bat. You can see he's just completely, he's completely going at edge here. He was just striking away. Some of his, some of his strikes weren't even connecting, but Dean Ambrose didn't care. He's just... He's fired up tonight. He'll, he'll have a fight with the air if he has to. But yes, as I was saying, Dean Ambrose did qualify for King of the Ring on main event, but as well as that, Seth Rollins qualified for King of the Ring by picking up a, a cheeky victory over Sami Zayn in uh, some not-so-clean methods, utilizing the ropes to his advantage. The referee didn't catch it, and... Seth Rollins was able to sneak away with the win. Not to say that Seth doesn't have the ability to defeat Sami Zayn, but now we'll never know because Seth Rollins utilized those dirty tactics in order to make it to King of the Ring. But perhaps things could come full circle. Seth Rollins, he's got a date with Dean Ambrose at Night of Champions in a steel cage. So, Seth Rollins... He could be about to get his comeuppance once and for all at the hands of Dean Ambrose. And boy, wouldn't everybody here love to see that. I know I would. I can't wait to see Seth Rollins get the, get the crap beat out of him by Dean Ambrose at Night of Champions. I'm sure that's what everybody is looking forward to at Night of Champions. Except the one or two Seth Rollins fans in the audience. In which case, um... I, I have nothing to say to you. If you're a fan of Seth Rollins, of, of the actions he has committed here in Universe Mode, taking out the McMahons, taking out Dean Ambrose, stabbing him in the back, well, I guess something can be said for that, but hey, different people have different tastes. I'm not going to judge you for it, although, okay, everybody, it's almost impossible not to judge people. I'm going to be honest. 
So maybe I'll judge you for it, but I'm not going to call you out on it. That's your opinion, and everybody has their own right to an opinion. Dean Ambrose off the ropes with that clothesline. The rebounding clothesline by Dean Ambrose. And he's got Edge Wobbly. Look at this. A roll-up by Ambrose. Small package. One. Two. No, not a two count. Edge kicks out. Although Edge was definitely caught off guard there. You can see him just grasping for air. He's he was just in a moment there, he was stunned. Edge now a body shot there to Dean Ambrose. And now Edge. Belly to belly suplex. Sending Dean Ambrose halfway across the ring. Kick to the gut now from Edge. As Dean Ambrose whipped off the ropes. Big boot there from the rated R superstar. Might have just kicked Ambrose's face in. Might have kicked his head clean off. Or maybe he did both simultaneously. Look at this. Education from the rated R superstar. That impaler DDT planting Dean Ambrose into the mat. And Edge creating some separation here. Looking to perhaps set him up for a spear. Look at this. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. A counter. Dean Ambrose. I think he just countered Edge. I think he just countered that spear into a dirty deeds. Ambrose hooks the leg. Two, three. Dean Ambrose. What a counter there. And just like that, Ambrose scores the victory over Edge. Wow. Just in at the snap of at the drop of a hat, Dean Ambrose just like that. Countered Edge and the momentum that was that was a 180 degree shift of momentum right there if i've ever seen it edge it looked like he was going to pick up the victory but ambrose just like that caught the spear into a dirty deeds beautiful counter by ambrose beautiful stuff and you can see he's just got 6 more days until he gets his hands on seth rollins at night of champions well, next up, we're going to see Seth Rollins in action as he takes on this man, the super athlete, the Bulgarian brute, Rusev. Yes, I have to roll the tongue every time. It's just my thing. Anyways, Rusev making his way down to the ring here. And honestly, Rusev, he should be the number one contender, all things considered. He's... He's beaten the former world champion Dolph Ziggler while he was the champion. He defeated the current number one contender, Edge. Honestly, the only thing stopping Rusev from being the number one contender is these darn technicalities and Paul Heyman. Every time Rusev has picked up these huge victories, there's already been a number one contender in place. And Paul Heyman, I don't know if he's just too stuck. Uh, excuse me. I don't know if he's just too stubborn to change the main event or if he really feels that Rusev still has more room to grow before he gets that title shot. But then again, all the posters and stuff get revealed for Night of Champions for each pay-per-view and you change the main events and I can understand that definitely is a in terms of business that's a bit of a uh, not not exactly the smartest thing to change things last minute, but Hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. As Rusev's opponent tonight, Seth Rollins, makes his way down to the ring. Another matchup where neither superstar really can afford a loss in this situation. Seth Rollins coming off of a SummerSlam victory. I mean, both of these men have been red hot in recent memory. It's, wait a minute! Seth, look out behind you! Dean Ambrose! He's not even waiting until Night of Champions. Dean Ambrose, back out here. Assaulting Seth Rollins from behind before Seth could even hit the ring. And now Dean Ambrose pummeling Seth Rollins here. Seth Rollins didn't even make it into the ring. And Dean Ambrose, he's giving him hell. Well, I had been saying that I wasn't sure if these men were going to be able to wait until Night of Champions before a fight broke out. And it turns out I was right. Dean Ambrose, full throttle going on the attack on Seth Rollins here. Ambrose backed him into the barricade there. And Seth Rollins, you can see he's defenseless right now. 
He was completely blindsided by Dean Ambrose, who delivers a knee to the gut. And now kicks him away, looking to kick his chest in. Dean Ambrose just, again, back to pummeling Seth Rollins. And he he ripped off that, that shirt he was wearing as well. And that's just Dean Ambrose now looking to stump Seth Rollins again. And now Seth, there's nothing to protect him. Ambrose could be giving him a ton of bruises and welts after this beating tonight. Oh no, Seth Rollins into the steel steps. Why am I saying, oh no, this is exactly what Seth deserves. Who am I kidding? Ambrose, elbow drop right to the back of Seth Rollins. And Seth, now there's nothing to protect him as Ambrose bounces his skull off the off the floor there, and that's concrete. Again into the barricade. Dean Ambrose now driving the knee to the skull. Rusev now, he's just content to watch this. Rusev, he's supposed to be facing Seth in a match tonight, but Rusev, I don't think he really cares about this match. He just wants to get his hands on Randy Orton and become the number one contender at Night of Champions. So Rusev, if he doesn't have Rollins at 100%, I don't think he really cares. He doesn't have any beef with either of these two men. This is just a match that was scheduled. It doesn't really matter to Rusev who he faces and at what condition they're in. Rollins whipped into the ring now, and now the match can begin. Rusev, super kick to Seth Rollins, who couldn't even, didn't even have time to defend himself there. Oh no, Seth Rollins. Why am I saying, oh no, this is exactly what I want to see. Rusev, the accolade applied. Seth Rollins, he's trapped. Wait a minute, Edge. Edge is back. And Edge with a spear to Dean Ambrose might have broken him in half here. Meanwhile, in the ring, Seth Rollins... Oh my god, chaos has just broken out. Seth Rollins, he's trying to fight out of this accolade, but there's nowhere to go. Seth Rollins is forced to tap out. Boy, is that a sight for sore eyes. After what has been... After what's been going down recently with Seth Rollins, it's good to see Seth tap out. It's good to see Seth submit. Rusev... I, I, th I gotta thank him. I gotta thank Rusev for doing that. That was, that's something I feel like the WWE Universe really needed. We needed to see Seth Rollins get a beating for once. And Rusev, he was able to deliver that with some help from Dean Ambrose. But how about Edge running down there and spearing Dean Ambrose? At that point, he was just getting a front row seat to the action. And well, Edge, he, he clearly needed some retribution for the match earlier on. And, wow, he just floored Dean Ambrose with that spear. My goodness. This is very, this is gonna be very interesting to see how things play out after Night of Champions, especially after what has gone down tonight with all six of these superstars sort of getting switched in and out of place with each other, all getting a chance to really interact with one another. Good setup, some very, some very, compelling feuds in the future but uh, for the moment here's a look back at a feud from the past a former rivalry over the Intercontinental Championship now a potential foreshadowing of things to come at Battleground as it's Randy Orton who has the opportunity this Sunday at Night of Champions to face off against Rusev for a number one contender shot at the World Heavyweight Champion, this man, the Human Wrecking Ball, Ryback. And that's assuming, I mean Ryback, he's got a title defense of his own at Night of Champions. He's going up against the Rated R Superstar Edge. And from what we saw earlier on tonight and in the past several weeks, Edge, he is dangerous. He is somebody you gotta keep on your toes. You gotta be prepared for the Rated R Superstar. So Ryback, he's, he's got a full plate already for Night of Champions. But you know what he always says, feed me more. And you can't stay hungry for, or you can't stay full forever. Eventually the tank's going to run empty. And you're going to need, you're going to, I don't know. That metaphor kind of got away from me. But you know what I mean. Ryback, you see, here's a stare down. These two men, they have history with each other over on Friday Night. 
Then it was Friday Night SmackDown. Over the Intercontinental Championship, a feud which Ryback won. Randy Orton tonight looking to get some retribution, perhaps, for all those months ago. It's been nearly a year since these two men have clashed. But it's happening yet again here on Monday Night Raw. And Randy Orton, he's looking to get retribution, redemption for the failures of last year. As Randy Orton ducks underneath, looking for a hip toss, but Ryback with a counter. And down goes Randy Orton. As Ryback, a headbutt to the skull, now backs Orton into a corner here. There's a body shot. Counter, Orton now with an elbow to the face. Kick to the gut now from Orton, and another one, and another one. Randy Orton, relentless right now in this attack on Ryback. And Randy Orton knows that it takes a lot to keep the big man down. I mean, Randy Orton, he knows firsthand that you gotta just about kill yourself to kill Ryback. As Randy Orton drives the knee right into the skull of the big guy. Ryback whipped off the ropes here, but a counter from Ryback. Right there with a body shot. Now he's got Orton up, but Orton, he's been on the receiving end of that backpack stunner in the past. And that's what I can only assume Ryback was attempting, but Orton countered it. And there's Vintage Orton, a backbreaker right there. Now stomping away at the face of Ryback. And now a forearm right to the face of the big guy. And now Randy Orton. This is that slow, methodical style of his. Looking to dissect Ryback piece by piece. And a stomp to the face once more from the Viper. And now Randy Orton telling Ryback to get up. Orton perhaps looking to just moments away. Going in for the kill. There's an exploder suplex from Orton. And Randy Orton now goes into the cover. One, two, not a two count. Ryback with a kick out before, before the two count. And Orton knocks him right back down. And now drives the knee right into the lower back of Ryback. Honestly, I think the last time Ryback has really been... I think the last time Ryback has actually lost a match was back at Extreme Rules to Titus O'Neil. Randy Orton, though, seems to be putting up a, a, hell of a, a hell of an effort at this point to try to keep... Actually, no, I, I am wrong. What am I saying? Ryback, he did, of course, lose to Edge in a number one contenders match in the past. So Edge, he has scored a victory over Ryback in the past. But to focus back on this match, a DDT there from Orton. And you can see the crowd is on their feet. They are excited for this. Hooks the leg now, does Orton. Two count, but a kick out by Ryback. And while the Raw Universe might not be SmackDown, Smackdown loyalists, Certainly, you have to think that they do know of the history between these two men. And they get to witness it before their very eyes tonight, live on Monday Night Raw. As Orton now, looking for perhaps yet another move in his arsenal. One of his bag of tricks. Oh, look at that! Beautiful neck breaker from Orton. And now Randy. Randy's got him in position, setting him up. Eagerly awaiting the RKO. No! Ryback throws him off. And now here's Ryback, sending Orton into the corner. It could be feeding time for the big guy. No, it is not. Orton shuts him down. European uppercut. As Orton now back on the attack. But as I was saying, Edge, I think since Extreme Rules, Edge is the only man who has defeated Ryback in singles competition. So if anybody could defeat Ryback for that title, Edge could just be the man. But then again, Randy Orton, he does have months of history competing against Ryback in the past. So Orton's another potential contender. And that's why he is in the number one contenders match at Night of Champions. Well, tonight might just not be Orton's night. As he got his he he nearly got beheaded with that meat hook clothesline, but Orton powers out of it at two. He manages to survive, but for how much longer as Ryback now, counter from Orton, Orton with a counter and a chop now down goes the big guy 
That's literally what you'd call chopping him down to size. And now Randy, can he hit it this time? RKO! RKO! The big guy has been busted open. Orton hooks the leg. Two. Thra! No! Well, Randy Orton, I'm sure he's come to expect nothing less from the big guy. For those of you last year at Night of Champions, remember when Ryback, it took three kill switches to put him away. And even when Edge defeated Ryback, he had to hit a spear from the top rope and another spear just to keep Ryback down for three seconds. Orton now, he's remembering that it's going to take much more than a simple RKO to keep Ryback down. Oh no, backpack stunner there. One of the most vicious moves I have seen in the WWE today. And it's only, go only to be followed up by yet another devastating move. Marching around the ring is Ryback as he puts Orton up and then back down with the shell shock. Ryback hooks the leg. Two, three. In emphatic fashion, Ryback defeats Randy Orton. Big win there for Ryback. Continuing to build his momentum. Heading into Night of Champions. Busted up and all. Ryback sending a direct statement to Edge. See you at Night of Champions. And Edge, could he potentially suffer the same fate as Randy Orton tonight? Meeting his end by a shell shock from the big guy. And Ryback, you can see, feed him more. He is fired up. He's amped up, ready to go for Night of Champions. And well, we might not even have to wait. Edge with a spear. A spear from the rated R superstar. Edge has struck once again. Another spear from the rated R superstar. And again, Ryback is taken out by the ultimate opportunist. Edge, could this be the sight we see at Night of Champions? Edge standing tall, the new World Heavyweight Champion. We're going to find out this Sunday. But until then, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Be sure to stay tuned for more. We've got Main Event and SmackDown to follow. And then the pay-per-view. So until then, as I always say, these are the matchups we're... Well, I don't always say this, but this is the matchups we're looking forward to. Get a brief glimpse to the three huge matches we expect to see this Sunday at Night of Champions. So until then, keep on YouTubing.